Bade mazemi ya kemekanga siko la concert. Munana. Mumiaka munana ejo. Bayembi manange mwona waze wa kola concerts. Zinga siko la. Well, that is Juliana Kanyomozi speaking about having a concert on the same date with the B2C boys. I'm coming up with the details. A very good morning. My friends in Kenya, how are you doing? Uh, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish you a very, very good day. We do understand that voting is already underway and uh, may the best candidate win. But also don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo aka Fula. Now going to the details of the stories that I have for you this morning. Uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs has finally spoken out on an incident in which our very own Winnie Nwaji was turned away at their headquarters in Kampala last week. Now, a video recording made rounds on social media last week in which Winnie Nwaji had gone to the headquarters of the Ministry of Internal Affairs in Kampala, but unfortunately, she was turned away by female police officers as she tried to access the premises. Now, the spokesperson of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, that is Simon Munde, says Winnie Nwaji was turned away because she was almost naked. When she came, uh, uh, we had not seen, our officers had not seen her, but there were some small children who had come with their parents to access passports from our office who pointed at her. Why? Because the way she was dressed also disturbed those children, young as they were. She was uh, donning a very short, uh, I think they call them hot pants, very short. The whole body down was uh, uh, out for the public to see. It was contravening our very strict dress policy, which emphasizes decency. We do not uh, entertain uh, naked artists. Well, there you go. That is the spokesperson of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, Simon Monday. However, ever since this incident happened, Winnie Nwaji hasn't commented on this matter. Not even her record label, Swangs Avenue, has put up any statement about what happened. Well, I'll keep you posted in case they finally come out and say something about this matter that is trending so big time on social media. Well, in other news... Now, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, has said Sandra Teta, Wizo Manizo's baby mama, has already recorded a statement and uh, investigations into this matter have already kicked off and very soon we shall have a report on this issue that is trending so big time on social media. Tufunye statement okufa kumuchara agambi wokuwanti ya kubiwa itiansusu na wajulizi abalalalala. Na ye mtisera chino tetu sobula kufuru miyali pota nga okuno nyeleza tekunaba kuku mizi wabulu unji kucha agenda masu. Well, in other news, uh, Juliana Kanyomozi has finally commented about having a concert on the same date with the B2C boys. She was in an exclusive interview with Next Media and she talked about a number of issues. For starters, Juliana Kanyomozi is going to have a concert at Kampala Serena Hotel and uh, that will be on the 19th this month. And I think the B2C boys will be at Freedom City, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Juliana Kanyomozi says she doesn't see why some people are putting up some kind of competition between herself and the B2C boys. And yet everyone has their own funds and uh, it's those funds to decide where to go. Kakati, by the way, argument, Kubanga, it does not make sense for me. Monsi and Dala, Ogena Novuga, streets, no other billboard in Gasat, Yanwalu, Alicia Keys, Eduali Yani, Eduali O Mayani, Ninga Bonava Ganakuera Mutown Yemu on the same weekend. Nobody complains. O Maniwachi, Kwanga will marry I never fan Ibe. Chuvula Banga, never Nakola Sheo, and never Gamambuera, not a deonerema, ever Nangi, Fena to Afunavant, Katicho Chikuga. Chitegezanti, bafani, badja genda, webaga lo genda. <laughs> Nze, ndabanga, midi echintu chino echifude, okubele echibi. 
nenga sichi musobola okubera mwenna ne mukola show okwesaba nje nyo ne musobola okubera aba yimbi nga yo aba sattu ne mukola show within the same weekend on the same day buli omuna amalako it's not a competition it's not even a fight nze i'm a fan of b2c yes i'm a fan of b2c um i don't see myself ngo muntu ababikirira nganta deo show yangi on the same day with them kubanga nabo bayina ba fan baba babagala ko am sure we go and see them and by the way i wish them very well i wish them good luck on that day and i hope they fill up that place concert eno ngenzo jikola bade mazemi yake mekanga sikola concert munana mu miyaka munane ejo bayimbi banange bonna baze bakola concerts nzinga sikola kati nko miyo ntadeo concert after 8 years and you saying jikiriza abayimbi unless you want me to go away and never come back Juliana also said nothing can threaten her music career. She says if she was to quit singing, it would have happened long time, but her love for music is what keeps her moving. No, no. Nze tewali tsubula kunemesa kuyimba. My love for music is bigger than any challenge. It's bigger. It's bigger than even my personal challenges. I've been through a lot, things that could have taken me down, but I still came back and sang because my love for music mm is literally my lifeline. Uh, Juliana Kanyomozi also revealed that the toughest time she has faced in the recent years was when she lost her son Keron in 2014. She says it took a lot of counseling for her to be back in the music industry. Otherwise, she was almost given up on singing. Um situations were the a couple of them. Then those are the most recent one was, you know, when Nafiro mwana wange chochona lima nyichi malao nabantu bange bonna bali bamanyi awo sida it took a lot of <laughs> counseling achitegera no kon convincing okoma byo kuyimba nga sagala ndaka kubira obuntula achitegera it was very 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 difficult na ye never zakatonda and right now i'm sitting here and i actually have a concert coming for me it's a miracle because i know what i've been through to get to this point Well, there you go. That is Juliana Kanyomozi, one of the best singers Uganda has ever had in history. Now, in other news, Dr. Jay Chameleon has said President Museveni should also think about appreciating legendary musicians who have sold the country to the outside world. Chameleon said uh, President Museveni shouldn't stop at awarding the athletes like uh, the Chepte Gays and uh, the Jacob Chipilimos, but he should also in a special way appreciate legendary musicians who have sold Uganda all over the world. Now, Dr. Chameleon said it would be very embarrassing for legendary artists like him to die before they are appreciated by the president of Uganda after all they have done for the country. Well, I don't know what you think about this statement, but in case you have anything on your mind, just leave it down in the comment section. Well, in other news, uh, Segrinya's mother was yesterday ordered to vacate the premises of the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs as she tried, uh, you know, to meet the newly appointed Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Honorable Minister Nombat Mao. Uh, security told her to return today if she really want to meet you know horrible minister no but mao well this is not the first time segrinya's mother justin nakajumba storming a very big office over segrinya's court case you guys you remember some time back when she stormed parliament she wanted to meet the speaker of parliament right horrible anita among and the speaker gave her 5 million but let's hope this time around the route she has taken will lead to the release of her son horrible segrinya muhammad Well those are some of the stories making headlines on the Buzz UG this morning and of course more stories will be coming your way in case you have anything on your mind just put it down in the comment section and uh, most importantly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications my name is Melad Milo aka Fula thank you